Hi YouTube world, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing like a book review and I'm reviewing the book called My Life, My Purpose. Apparently I forgot my copy, so we'll have to do it without the book because time waits for no man, you know, yeah. So I'll get right into it. In this video, I'll share like parts of the book that I've liked and the things that I think that you would like about them as well. So backstory of the book itself. So. My Life, My Purpose is an autobiography of the late Benjamin William Kappel, who was the president of Tanzania. And it's a very interesting story and it's written in a very interesting way because he used to be a writer for newsletters and stuff like, I mean, for newspapers. So he's very skilled in that area, which is why I think most of his writing are very top notch. So I would say like, I think most people usually like shy away from reading presidential biographies because they think they'll be very political and stuff like that. I'm here to tell you that that book is not political. That book is not political. Like it covers all areas of life. Also, I think most people can relate to that book because he spoke of his life in a very personal way. Also because his childhood was not like anything different from like a regular man. Like he grew up in a very regular life and he just has been through like a lot of things that most of us are going through today. So I think it's very relatable. And if you are like still debating if to get the book or not, I would say go and get it. Like go and get the book. It's worth every penny. It's worth it. And the lessons are just like life changing. So yeah, I'll get into my review. Um, so first I'd like to share like a few books, a uh, few book facts. So this is the first book in Tanzania to be sold out in a week after it was released. You know, like that says a lot about the content of the book, you know, because it's not the only presidential biography out there, but it just sold out that much. It just tells you so much about what you need to know about the book. So if you're still thinking, hold on, and let's get into the review as I promised. So the first thing I liked about the book is uh, the second chapter, which was Walk and Pray. So Walk and Pray, I think it covers mostly his childhood. He grew up in a religious family, so it was mostly of like, and he went to seminary schools. So you're kind of like getting where this is going. But I don't want to disclose a lot of information because you still have to read the book to like get all of the good things from the book. And what I liked about Walk and Play is that I think he just kind of like showed how much hard work pays and he just kind of like showed like it does not matter where you start or it does not matter what you do for as long as you're looking toward the right path kind of thing you know so i think walk and play is a very personal touch inside the book because it was very personal i think yeah it, it's not like the usual stuff that you'd expect to be shared in like a presidential biography also what i liked about walk and play is because i think with like his childhood life you kind of like can see what hard work and determination can do and change a person's life. Because back then, when opportunities were not as open, when there are not as many opportunities, you can see like how he worked his way through and managed to get to where he got to. So it's a very good chapter, I would say. So that's, I think that's my favorite chapter. And then another part that I liked inside the book is the part where he explained the challenges of like managing his career and his career and his family at the same time because his career it involved like this was like later in the life now after work and play where he explained his childhood and all of that then later he, he explained like the later phases of his life where there are certain things that were addressed but the thing that stood out for me was like managing his family while still having a career that is constantly moving because his career like required him to move like a lot of places so because I think most of us like face those things, especially because, especially when you have to um, change careers, when you have to change fields, or when your career involves like a lot of movement. So I think um, that was also an interesting insight for me because it kind of like shows um, the contribution that both parties have towards like maintaining the family and the choices they make to maintain the family. Because I think like, um, 
you can see that if one of them decided to be selfish with their career, he and his uh, he and his wife, if any of them decided to be selfish with their career and stuff, like, it would have been very hard for them to like move together or for him or her to get where they want to be. So I think it kind of like displays the importance of teamwork in marriage and in families and stuff like that. Another part that I liked inside the book, that this is very like, this is very of like, I think for me at least, I would not like ex expect a presidential biography to cover like the president's previous life stories and stuff like that. But he decided to be open with his stories and he, he decided how he wanted his story to be seen it. And luckily for us, he shared a bit of like his love story and not just with um, Mama Anna. I mean like other people as well. Because uh, inside it, he also like wrote a poem facing the volcano, which he had written for this white girl who he had a crush on at the moment. And I liked this line from the poem. It, it said, um, a beautiful girl, but behind it, a beautiful monster. I mean, like, I like when people use words very nicely, and this was like one presentation of that. So, yeah, I like the poem. Also, I like the fact that he decided to share his love stories with us, yeah. And from the book, we also say that at the moment, people are at a certain level in his career, people assumed that that poem was political, but little did they know that that poem was written for somebody he loved, like, what a twist, you know? So those are the few things that I have personally loved about the book. And I would say the book has a little of everything for everyone. So if you're into politics, there is content for you. There is like a lot of that as well. Like how he had to during the Idea Mini time, like during the Malim Nyerere time, how he got the positions he got, like how Malim trusted him with all the jobs that he got there during his presidents and after his presidents. There's a lot of that, but I just did not cover that because for me, I remember rest of that because it's, it's, it's just, I, I'm not into politics. So politics does not stick to my mind when I read it, if that makes sense, you know? So this is just to say, like, if you're into politics as well, there's something for you in the book. But also the book would serve like as uh, an inspirational book because I think looking at his life from his childhood to where he ended up to be, it's a... Uh, mind-blowing thing is i think it's one of those books that tells you like no matter who you are you can do big things no matter where you start that does not define where you're going to end like it's your hard work it's your determination and the work you decide to put towards your goals and stuff that are going to like determine the end goals for you he also like covered things like um racism because i just uh, i think he had a chance to go abroad back then when I think racism was very severe. They were not even allowed to ride on the same bus with their white colleagues, you know. So there are a lot of topics that Akapan used at the book. And I think it's a good insight into his life and just like presidential life and stuff like that. Also, it's a good insight into like how people go through their life, you know. Like I think for us, it's easy to assume that things came easy for him. Or it's easy to assume that things can be easy for some people, but it's like with reading their stories from their self that we know that they also had to do like a certain level of work. They also had to input certain level of like, how do I mean, I mean, there was blood and sweat in everything because I think it's so easy for viewers from outside to kind of like assume some people had it easy, but with books like these, you're kind of like changing the narrative, you know, you're kind of like, reframing your mindset as well like okay so what i was thinking was not correct this and this is fine also i think this book is important as well because i think um with public figures in most cases we tend to hear like a lot of things that they're not facts and we could easily like take them as facts but reading a book that was written by himself is a good way to like change your perception about him or just change your perception around his politics or around the things that happened and they happened. I don't know, it's, I think it's just like a good book generally. Thank you guys for tuning in. So this is it for this video and I hope this video has intrigued you to either get to learn more about the book or get the book and read it for yourself or any other action you decide to take after watching this video. I hope this video has been insightful and useful to you. So don't forget to subscribe and join our community. Thank you for having me.
，拜拜。